Om Sang Saraswati Namaha Namaste. Namaste, everyone. We left off last time at, at Doha number 15. And Hanuman was talking to Sita. She was sitting at the foot of the tree where there is no grief. And she was grieving. She was in such sorrow. And Hanuman was explaining to her, be patient, Mother, please be patient. The, the demons are like moths, while the arrows of the Lord of Light are like flames. The moths will go right into the flames and be consumed. Oh, Mother, have courage in your heart and understand the demons will be consumed. And now if you'd all please open your text and chant along with us. We're starting from just after Doha number 15. Jo Ragubir Hoti Sudipai, Kurete Nekin, Bilambu Ragurai, Ramapan Rabi Ue Janaki, Tamabi Ruta Kakajatu Danaki, Abakin Matuming Jabu Labai, Prabu Ayasunakin Ramadohai, Kachuka di Basa Janini Durudira, Kapina Sakita Ayakin Ragubira, Nisi Charamari Toki Lejain, Tium Puranara Dadi Jasugai, He Sutta Kapisa Batabi King Samana, Jasugai. Tudana ti bhattabalabana More pridaya parama sandeha Suni kapi pragad kini ni jadeha Kanaka buddha akara sarira Samarir baranka yap ati balabira Tita ban barosa tababayu Puni la guru papabana sutalayu Sunu mata saka mriga Nakin balabana Budi Vishal, Prabhu Pratapati Garu King, Kai Parula Gubyao, Siyamura Ramachandra Ki Jai, Pavana Sutta Kanumana Ki Jai, Uma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai. Manatanto Sutana Sunata Kapibani Bhagati Pratapa Teja Palasani Asi Sadini Rama Priyajana Oputata Palasila Nidana Aja Amara Nidhi Sutta Kohu Karakumba Hudra Gunaya Tikachohu Karum Kaiba Prabhu Asunikana Nirbara Prain Magana Hanumana Bar Bar Nagisi Padasisa Bola Pachana Jori Kora Kisa Abba Krita Kritya Baya Gumi Mata Ashi Shataba Amoga Bikata Suna Humata Moki Atisaya Buka Lagi Raki Deki Sundar Pala Ruka Suna Sutta Kora Kimbi Pina Rakavari Paramasu Patarajani Charaba Tina Kora Boya Mata Moki Nagin Jotuma Sukumana Kuma Napakin Deki Buddhi Balani Punkapi Kahe Hujana Kijau Radu Pati Charanari Dayandari Hot Madura Fala Kau Siyamora Ramachandra Ki Jai Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki Jai Uma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai Chale Hunai Si Rupati Upaga Falkaye Si Taru Tore Laga Rake Tahan Baku Bhakta Rakoare Kachuka Mare Si Mbukachuja Yi Pukare Nat Eka Baka Pibari Tehinga Soka Bhakti Kakujari Kaya Si Fala Urubita Upare Rakshaka Mardi Mardi Makindare Suni Rabana Pakistan Pata ye pata nana, tina ki de ki gaje wana mana, sabata tani chara kapi sandare, kaye pukara ta kachu adamare, puni pata yu te i akshakumara, chala sangale shubata para, abata de ki pita papa ki taja, kakin di pati makaduni gaju, 
Kachu Maresi, Kachu Maresi, Kachu Milaesi, Dori Dori, Kachu Puni Jahi Pukare Prabhu, Markata Palapuri, Sayavara, Ramachandra Ki Jai, Pavanga Sutta Kadu Mana Ki Jai, Umapati Mahadeva Ki Jai. Suni Sutta Panda Lanke Sristana Pate Si Megana de Balabana Marasi Jani Sutta Pande Sutaki Deki Akapiki Gahan Koraki Chala Indrajit Ateliti Joda Pandu Didana Suni Upa Jakroda Kapi Deka Darun Bata Ava Kataka Kai Gajaru Ava Ati Bisala Toru Eku para Virata Kina Lankis Kumara Rahi Mahabata Taki Sanga Gaki Gaki Kapi Madekini Jaanga Tine Kini Pati Taki Sana Paja Nibira Reb Jugala Mana Kuga Jaraja Muki Kamari Jaratu Rujai Taki Eka Chana Murachai Ai Uti Bakori Begin Siba Kumaya Jiti na jai, prabanja na jai, brahma astrate ki sanda, kapi mana ki na bicha, jona brahma saramana ku, mati mani thai apar, siyamora, rama chandra ki jai. Pavan Sutta Hanuman Ki Jai Umapati Mahadeva Ki Jai Brahma Pan Kapi Kaku De Kidmara Purti Udar Kata Kukangar Teki Deka Kapi Murachita Payu Naga Pasa Bandesi Leya Gayu Jasunam Japi Suna Kubabani Baba Pandana Kata Kinara Gani Tasu Dukin Bandatoru Ava Prabhu Karaja Laki Kapi Kin Bandava Kapi Bandana Suni Nisi Sitara Dai Kotu Kalagi Shapa Saba Ai Das Muk Saba Diki Kapi Jai Kaki Najai Kachu Hati Prabhu Tai Kura Jore in Sura Disi Pipa Nita Brikuti Biloka Tasakal Nasabita Deki Pratap Nakapi Manathanga Jimi Ahuyugana Maki Guru Dasanka Kapi Himbi Loki Dasanana Biasa Kapi Sutta Bada Sura Tikini Puni Upa Jari Dayam Bishan Siyavara Ramachandra Ki Jai Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki Jai Umapati Mahadeva Ki Jai Kahalam kis kabana te kisa Kehi ke bala gale ki bana kisa Ki dog sraven zoni hezo e ki mboki Te ki ua ti asan ka shata toi Mari ni si chara ke ki aparada Ka ku sata togi na prana ko i bada Sunu rabana brahmanda nikaya Pai jasu bala bira chati maya Jakin bala bira nchi yore i Palata Sri Jata Karata Dasa Sisa Jabala Sista Rata Saka Sanan Anda Kosa Sameta Giri Kanan Dara Jod Bidi Dada Keke Usura Trata Tume Se Satan Hamna Sakaban Yudata Hara Kodanda Katina Cheki Banja Teki Sameta Nripa Dala Dada Ganja Karadushana Trisura Uru Palu Pali Bade Bade Sakala Gatilita Balasali Jaki Bala Labali Sate Jite Kucharachara Chari Tasu Dud Me Jakari Hori Aneya Priyanari Siyabora Ramachandra Ki Jai Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki Jai Umapati Mahadeva Ki Jai Janu me to marry Prabhu Thai 
Sahasa Pakistana Pori Larahi, Samara Pali Sana Kori Jasupava, Suni Kapi Bachana Bia Sibira Rava, Kayu Pao Prabhu Lagi Buka, Kapi Sabate Tore Huruka, Sabake Deha Parama Priya Swami, Maraki Moki Kumara Gami, Jini Moi Mara Kimi Mare, Tegi Pura and the Bande Utanayan to Hare. Moi na kachu bande koi laja Kina chaku brij babu kar kaja Bina tikarum jori kora raban Suna uya ban mutaji mora sikaban Deki utumi jakula ki vichari Brahma taji bajaku bagat boya hari Jaki dara tikala derai Josura sura chara chara kai Tasum bayaru kabakunda tiki jay Morika king, Janaki DJ, Pranata Pala Ragunayaka, Karuna Sindhu Karari, Gai Surana Prabhuraki, Tabarapa Rada Bisari, Siyabora Ramachandra Ki Jai, Pavana Sutra Karubana Ki Jai, Umapati Badeva Ki Jai. Ramachandra Panka Jakura Daragu, Lanka Achala Raju Tumakaraku, Rishi Pulasti Jasumila Yamayanka, Tehizati Bakudira Hohu Kalanka, Ramanam Binukira Nasoa, Deku Bichari Jagi Mother Moa, Masanakin and Nakin Soa Sirari, Sababushanabushi the Boranari, Ram Bimuka Sampati Prabhutai, Jai Rati Pai Banyu Binu Pai Sajala Bula Jina Suratana Nakin Barashi Gayim Punita Bakin Sakai Sunuda Sakanta Kakupana Ropi Bimu Karam Trata Naki Kopi Sankara Saka Sabishnu Ajatoi Saki Hinaraki Ramakara Drogi Mohamul Bakusula Prada Tiaga Kutama Abiman Bajakura Ramaragunayaka Kripa Sindhu Bhagavan Siyamora Ramachandra ki jai Pavana Sutta Hanuman ki jai Umapati Mahadeva ki jai Let's go back and read the story for a while. This is really fun. So Hanuman was comforting Sita and he said, don't worry Sita, Ram's arrows are like flames, the demons are like moths, and don't worry, the moths are going to enter into the flame. <laughs> if the hero of light had known where you are, he would not have delayed so long. When the arrows of consciousness come like the sun, daughter of the cause, then those who oppose him will be dispersed like the darkness. So just as when the sun rises, the darkness flees, just so the demons are going to flee as soon as they see the light, of, the radiant light of Ram. Oh, mother, I would take you away from here right now, but I swear upon consciousness that I have no such order from the Lord. Uh, Ram only said, hey, find out where she is and come back and tell me. He didn't say bring her home. Mother, please be patient for a few days more, whereupon the hero of light will come along with the monkey army. He will slay the demons and take you away, just like Narad and other rishis and munis said, the three, three worlds will sing his praise. Nature asked, in the form of Sita, Oh my son, are all the monkeys as small as you? Remember Hanuman was just, he was just a masakatsaman, a rupa he, he, he just deformed just like a, as small as a mosquito. The demons are so big and strong, there is a great doubt in my mind. How are all you little wimpy little monkeys going to beat those great big, humongous, gigantic demons? Hearing these words, the monkey assumed his own body, the great golden body of a strong warrior as large as a mountain, seeing which would send fear into any opponent. Nature's mind was filled with faith. 
and the son of the wind again assumed his small form. So he became small again. Listen, mother, among the monkeys there is not a great deal of strength or intelligence, but from the grace of the Lord, a little snake can even eat the king of birds. Uh, doesn't take a lot, Ma. Size isn't the criteria. Uh, don't judge us all because we are wimpy Brahmins. I mean, some of us have a lot of strength and a lot of fortitude. Her mind was satisfied upon hearing the monkey's words, knowing him to be endowed with devotion, courage, light, and strength. Understanding him to be the beloved of consciousness, she gave him her blessings. You will be filled with strength and virtue. Son, you will be free from old age and death, and all excellent qualities will reside in you. That's my blessing to you. May the Lord bestow his grace on you. Hearing those words, pure devotion became lost in the fullness of love. Again and again he bowed his head to her feet and with hands folded in respect said, Now I am certainly blessed, mother. Your blessing is known as infallible without a doubt. I got an infallible blessing. It can't go wrong. There can't go astray. Your Blessing is targeted with such focus and efficiency, it's got to come to fruition. Mother, listen, I have become very hungry seeing those beautiful fruits on the trees. So remember, he's in this garden, uh, and in the garden there are all these fruit, fruit trees, and he's looking at the fruits and licking his chops because they've been wandering in the forest all, the, all those days, and then he, they were eating roots and tubers and, and kaisi. Call, call they were eating all these fruits and, uh, uh, and, and roots and uh, muli and uh, sag. And so he, she, he said, Mom, I want to eat some nice fruit. <laughs> Listen, my son, there are very big guards protecting this grove. <laughs> Sabdan, <laughs> watch out. Ah, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> it, Mother, if you will not object to giving me your permission, I have no fear of them. Uh, seeing the impeccable intelligence and strength of the monkey, the daughter of the cause said, Go, my son, eat the sweet fruits. Tat madura falakal. Go ahead and eat those sweet fruits. Actually, Hanuman really wanted to test the guards and to announce his presence uh, in the kingdom of the ego. Now that he had seen uh, Ra uh, he had seen Lanka and he had seen where Sita is has been hidden away and where she's held captive. Uh, now the next step of his his project was to find and meet Ravan and tell him, "Hey, you're on the wrong path." Mr. Demon. <laughs> Bowing his head to her feet, he took her leave and entered into the grove. After eating many fruits, he began to uproot the trees. That was a challenge to the guards. There were many soldiers protecting the garden. Some were badly beaten and some ran to call for help. <laughs> They said, Oh Lord, a huge monkey has entered the grove where there is no grief and destroyed the grove. He ate the fruits, uprooted the trees, and fought with the guards and threw them to the ground. When the eagle heard this, he sent a number of soldiers. First he said, Hey, what, what do you mean? You guys, my army is afraid of a monkey? And then he sent a bunch of soldiers who began to roar when they saw pure devotion. They took one look at Hanuman and they began to roar. Pure devotion defeated the demons. Some he killed and others fled from the battle. Then the eagle sent his son Akshakumar, the ever young, along with a force of undefeated warriors. 
Seeing them approaching, pure devotion took a huge tree in his hands and threw it at them with a great roar. Some he slew, some he beat, some he threw down to the ground. Kachumaresi, kachumardesi, kachumilakesi duri duri, kachupuni jahi pukare prabhu, markat balaburi. Some again ran away to call for help from their lord, saying, The monkey is too strong for us. Hearing the news of the death of his son, the lord of the kingdom of the ego became angry and sent his oldest son pride. He said, my son, don't kill him. Bring him here as a prisoner. I want to see who the monkey is and from where he has come. Who defeated Indra, the ruler of purity, is another name of pride. Actually, uh, Indra Jit was the name of Meghnad. And Indra Jit, you defeated Indra. Actually, he went up into heaven and he captured, he defeated all the guards. He captured Indra and he was carrying Indra back to Lanka. And Brahma came and said, Stop! Hey, uh, pride, you can't. You can't take Indra as a prisoner to Lanka. Who's going to rule the heavens? The whole creation is going to be in disorder. Uh, release the prisoner. And pride said, what will you give me if I give you the prisoner? What will you give me in exchange for the freedom of Indra? And Brahma said, I'm going to give you the title Indrajit. You are the one who, cre who defeated Indra. Everyone will know that you are famous in the three worlds as the one who defeated Indra. Uh, so uh, Indrajit said, well, that's not enough. I want something more. And Brahma said, okay, I'm going to allow you to do a special yajna for the goddess Chamunda. And if you complete this yajna successfully, you will get a chariot. And this chariot will make you invincible. It will move at the speed of thought and take you anywhere you want it to go. And it will be completely armed with all the latest weapons, everything in fashion today. Uh, and you, you will be able to be undefeatable as long as you're on this chariot. And Pride said, that's a good, that's a good boom. I, I'll take it. Uh, so I'm releasing Indra, but now I'm known as who defeated Indra. So who defeated Indra, who was the ruler of purity, which was another name for pride, was an incomparable warrior who proceeded with great anger, having heard of the death of his brother. The monkey saw the great warrior approaching, and he grit his teeth and began to roar. He uprooted a huge tree and threw it, breaking the chariot of his opponent, throwing the son of the lord of the kingdom of the ego to the ground. With his hands he grabbed those large demon warriors who would accompany pride and crushed them with his body. He just <laughs> smashed them right into himself and they fell down unconscious. After defeating them... Pride arose again to do again arose to do battle, which appeared to be a battle between two kings of elephants. Uh, they were both great warriors. Pure devotion hit him with his fist and jumped into a tree, while the unconscious opponent fell to the ground. Again rising, Pride began to employ various forms of magic, but he was unable to defeat the son of the wind. Ultimately, pride had called upon the, the weapon of creative consciousness. Brahma Astra Te Sanda. This is the undefeatable weapon of Brahma. This is the creative consciousness, the supreme weapon. And the monkey band to, began to think, if I don't respect the weapon of creative consciousness, then his greatness will be lessened in the world. I don't want to diminish the greatness of Brahma by disrespecting his weapon, so I'm going to allow myself to be captured by being struck by this weapon. Uh, so that way I pay respect to Brahma, and I get the privilege of meeting Ravana. 
Then pride shot the arrow of creative consciousness at the monkey, and when he was struck, he fell from the tree upon a number of soldiers. When pride saw the monkey laying unconscious, he bound him with the bonds of snakes and took him away. Shiva said, now remember, Shiva's telling this story again to Parvati. Shiva said, Mother of the universe, listen. He whose name is recited by wise men in order to cut the bonds of the ocean of worldliness, is it possible that his ambassador can be bound? That is Ram. Ram's name is recited by all men of wisdom, all beings of light and wisdom recite the name of Ram in order to cut all the bonds. How is it that his ambassador, my incarnation, how can he be bound? But in order to accomplish the Lord's work, the monkey bound himself. Hearing the monkey that the monkey had been bound and was being taken to the king's court, demons came to witness the spectacle. Arriving in the court of the one with ten heads, the monkey saw the indescribable wealth and power of the lord of the kingdom of the ego. The gods and protectors of the ten regions bowed to pure devotion with hands folded in respect, being filled with fear. So all the gods and all the Dash Dikpala, all the, the, the protectors, all those who were held captive in the court of Ravana, they, when they saw pure devotion walk into the court, they bowed to him. Seeing all the splendor, the monkey remained free from doubt, just as the king of birds amidst a number of snakes. So Hanuman had just the same attitude as the king of the birds would have if he were among, amidst among a number of snakes. Uh, hey, you guys, it's like uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, elephant saying to the ant, Why are you so small? <laughs> The ant said, I can't help it. <laughs> Seeing the monkey bound in chains, the one with ten heads laughed and mocked his captive. Then he remembered his son's death, and his heart was filled with sadness. The lord of the kingdom of the ego said, Who are you, monkey, and by whose strength have you uprooted and destroyed my grove? Have you never heard of my fame? You fool! I see you are standing there without any doubts or fear. For what fault did you slay my demon warriors? Have you no fear of losing your life? Pure devotion replied, Listen, ego, by whose power the entire existence has manifested from Maya. The measurement of consciousness. O oh, one with ten heads, by whose power creative consciousness, Brahma, who takes away adversity, Vishnu, and the seer of all, Siva, create, protect, and transform. By whose power the thousand-headed snake, Anant Nag, infinity, supports the entire creation upon his head with mountains and forests who wears different bodies in order to protect the gods and to teach fools like yourself the ways of righteousness, who broke Shiva's mighty bow and who ground to dust the pride of all the kings, who killed who is always harsh, who manifests evil, who has three heads and who has immeasurable strength, who was the strongest of all, Kara Dushana Trisara Urubali Bade Sakala Atalita Balasali By a fraction of whose power you were able to conquer the entire world which moves and does not move, and whose beloved wife you stole away like a thief. I am his ambassador. I know very well, your lordship, Ego, how you fought with the one with a thousand arms and how you attained fame, fighting with who has immeasurable strength. 
So here Hanuman recall, recollected all of Ram's victories and he recollected all of Ravana's defeats <laughs> and said, I am his ambassador. Hearing the monkey's words, Ego laughed in derision. Pure devotion continued. I ate your fruits, O king, because I was hungry. And because of the nature of a monkey swinging in the trees, the trees broke. Everyone's body is most beloved to him, so I was forced to defend myself from your evil guards. Whoever attacked me, I was forced to fight back. In this your son bound me and brought me as a prisoner. But have you no shame in binding me as a captive? I have come here desiring to perform my Lord's work. Hey, ego, with folded hands I plead with you. Leave your egotism and accept my teaching. Think of the purity of your family traditions. Leave this confusion and celebrate the supreme divinity who removes all fear from devotees. Even Almighty Time fears him who dissolves the forces of unity, the forces of division and the entire creation which moves and does not move. Do not cultivate his enmity. Heed my request and return the daughter of the cause. The leader of light, the slayer of hue is always harsh. The protector of life is an ocean of compassion. For those who take refuge in the Lord, he forgets all offenses. Pranatapala Raghunayaka Kuruna Sindhu Karari Gaye Sarana Praburaki Hain Tava Aparada Bisari. He forgets. He'll forgive you. Please leave your enmity. Do not cultivate enmity with God. Hey, you're going to lose, man. <laughs> it's a losing proposition. Return the daughter of the cause. Return turn the pure nature of consciousness to consciousness himself. Take refuge in the feet of the Lord. And that will be the, for your welfare and the welfare of your entire family and your entire kingdom and your entire nation. Om Sam Sarsvatinama. Do we have any questions up to here? Yes, please. Some um, other question about Sita Swamiji. Yes. In this uh, Sundar Khan, uh, in general, Sita serves as an inspiration for women, as the ideal wife. What are the qualities that uh, she inspires in men, especially from the Sundar Khan? Whoa, Sita! From the very beginning. She sent a message even before Ram, uh, 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 before uh, 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 their marriage was consummated, and she said to Ram, "What do you think is the nature of marriage, and how do you view your wife?" And Ram replied, "A man is only incomplete without his wife. He needs his shakti for be to be complete. And what do you think?" of the nature of marriage and what is your ideal of uh, the relation with a husband and Sita replied a woman has her identity in the relationship with her husband and from that foundation they cultivated a, such a strong relationship when Ram was exiled into the forest Sita said I'm going with you because I am your partner and I am, you are my identity, and I have no identity uh, uh, apart from you. Our union is the core of our relationship, so I'm staying with you. If you go into the forest, I, what will I do in the palace? And from that time, she exhibited the ideal of the behavior of a wife with purity, chastity, devotion, 
performing all the vows, sustaining and nourishing her family, and taking care of Ram and Lakshmi in the forest, and maintaining the purity, even when uh, she was uh, lured from the garden of pleasure and placed at the of the foot of the tree where there is only pleasure surrounding her and, and enticed with so many allurements you will become queen of the kingdom of the ego and every conceivable pleasure will be yours she denied and said no, I have the pleasure of being the wife of Ram I will not leave that position I will not succumb to any other position. And here in the Sundarkand, she continues to exhibit the greatest purity, clarity, focus, and loyalty. The sincerity of her loyalty is exemplary to all of us, not just to women or not just to men, but to all of us. The sincerity and clarity and loyalty, her dedication to her bond, her to her or her um, or her vow. That's what makes her exemplary among women. The dedication to her vow. She didn't just take it lightly, and then walk away. She didn't succumb to the allurements of a gallant like the kingdom of the king of the ego. She said. Nothing can dissuade me from the purity and the, the clarity of my focus and my attentiveness to the vows that I spoke with Ra. He is my identity. I am his other half. And we can't be parted. He's always in my heart. That's why Sita is exemplary among women. Are there other questions? Namaste, Ram. What is the symbolism of Hanuman's ability to change his size? Uh, there are Ashtashidi no Konidhi Kedata, Asvaradina Janaki Mata. Hanuman has eight siddhis, and amongst the eight are Lagima, Mahima, uh, Anima, uh, uh, Mahima, uh, Prapti. And, well, that's enough to illustrate the point because those are the five that, uh, that have to do with uh, moving in your body uh, and changing the form of your body. So you can make yourself very small means you become extremely subtle. And not only imperceivable to the outside, from the outside, but you become very subtle within. And Mahima means you become very great. You can perceive the totality and you have the clarity to perceive from the, the greatness. So both those, she, he, he becomes extremely subtle and he becomes extremely cosmic. And on both levels, on every level in between, he has clear perception. And that's the meaning of those cities. Ruchi from Maryland has a question. Yes, Namaste, Ruchi. My mother always recites Sindhakan during her morning puja. But recently, a Thomas said that Sindhakan should be recited after sunset for it to be effective. Is there any truth to that? Can somebody please comment? Bakwash! <laughs> Nonsense! Anytime you recite, with devotion and attention, you will, Hanuman is present, Ram will be present. You invoke the gods, they will come to you. Don't worry about the time of day or the time of night. Anytime day, if you sing it in the day and in the night, you become a god without a doubt. Uh, I, please, everywhere I went for 30 years in India, everybody said, don't do it like that. <laughs> there was always somebody who said, don't do it that way. I gravitated to the people say, this is how I'm doing it. Come and do it with me. Do it more. Do it when it's convenient to you. Do it! Mafkiji. <laughs> 
question from Nandla from San Jose. Namaste, Nandama. Pranam Swamiji, can you please speak about the blessings given by a great soul? When Ma or you bless us, what do we need to do to make the fruit of the blessing manifest? Thank you. You need to accept the blessing. <laughs> you see, blessing is a two-way street. Uh, you, you get the blessing, but if you don't make the, your behavior conform to the ideal of the blessing, then the blessing will not bear fruit. So if you have a guru or if you have a saintly being bless you, then you may ask them, what is the appropriate behavior, if you don't know already, <laughs> if it hasn't already been explained to you, you would ask them, hey, how do I make this happen? What can I do to manifest this blessing? Now, in the case of Hanuman, uh, Sita blessed him that he would have uh, incomparable strength, devotion, uh, he would have purity and clarity, uh, he would have uh, 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 pure devotion for all time. And so, uh, we know what Hanuman did. He did everything he could do for Ram with the name of Ram on his lips. He never abandoned his guru. Even though his guru experienced hardships, he wandered in the forest and had to fight a battle with a, an army of monkeys against a humongous army of well-armed demons. Even then, Hanuman said, Jai Ram. He didn't abandon the guru he, he stayed with the guru and found the true devotion. He, he manifested the, the blessing in his action. And that is the way that we can manifest, the, we can behave in a way that is worthy of demonstrating that we really receive the blessing. Just if we take it with a flippant attitude, oh, by the way, somebody blessed me. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> yes, sir, please. Swamiji, Hanuman is, a, 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 is an embodiment of pure devotion. And how can we distinguish devotion from emotion? And how can we transform emotion into devotion? Mm. Well, we have so many emotions, good ones and not so good ones. And some of the not-so-good ones tend to inspire within us not-so-good behavior. Now, if we use and we call upon discrimination, please come and stay with me. Uh, I want you to guide the, my kingdom of ego, and I want you to tell me which emotions are pure emotions which will take me closer to my goal, and which emotions are impure emotions which will take me farther away from my goal, then we get to the capacity to, dis to, to move, to discriminate which, de which emotions we should follow and act out and, and manifest. For example, the love for your wife is a very pure emotion. And that will take you to a stronger union between Shiva and Shakti and make a strong unit where you can be nourished, both of you, by the union of consciousness and nature. The desire for somebody else's wife is an impure emotion, which is going to get you in a whole lot of hot water. So therefore, you need discrimination in the middle. Don't follow every emotion. <laughs> Oh, discrimination will allow us to, de to determine which emotions are going to bring us closer to the goal and which emotions are transient in nature and we should ignore them. Has another question. Certainly, Rolf. Hanuman allowed himself to be captured by energy. Is there any circumstance where the energy will not be No. Rolf, uh, it, Hanuman was the incarnation of Shiva on, the, on a mission for Ram. 
And I would leave that kind of voluntary submission, supplication to God. I wouldn't venture to do it myself. I wouldn't allow pride to, uh, I wouldn't try to surrender my pure devotion to pride and so I can be ca a captive in the court of the kingdom of the ego. I am not like Hanuman. <laughs> Sorry. I can't imagine any circumstance where I would want to put myself in that position. And nor would I advise it to any friend of mine. <laughs> I'd say, stay in the kingdom of purity and stay with clarity and allow your pure devotion to be free. Yes, please go. Uh, so, can you explain what, uh, what it means for Ram to be without Sita when she is captured by the people? When Ram is without Sita, he has consciousness, has no nature. He is devoid of, of, of his passion for life. His only thought is, how do I get my Shakti back? How do I get my energy back? How do I get my inspiration back? That's his only goal in life when he is without Sita. Uh, when he was with Sita, he said, we have the responsibility of protecting all the sages and all the rishis and all the munis that live in the forest. We're going to chase the demons out of the forest and leave, make it safe for meditators. <laughs> but when he lost Sita, he said, hey, I, I, I'm not any longer in the protection business. I'm going to get my Shakti back. And he was one-pointed, focused on his goal. Only he needed his, his pure nature to return to him. And then he could think about ruling again. Some questions from yesterday. Yes, please. Uh, Usha from Canada. Namaste, Usha. Swamiji, the Lord of the rain. Is the rain a symbol for holiness as in other stories around the world? Oh, certainly it's a, it has so many symbol, so much symbolism, and, but it, it was his ring and it was his nishani. Uh, it was his emblem and, and it demonstrated to Sita the sincerity, the purity, the clarity of the ambassador that, that Hanuman was actually an ambassador of Ram. And yes, the ring is a symbol of wholeness and it's a symbol of, of completeness. It's the full circle and it means full, complete, purnamada, purnamidam, purnat, purnamadachate. It's all full, complete, and perfect. Mm -hmm. Gary is us from Rishikesh Swamiji. Namaste, Gary. Uh, how's everything in Rishikesh? Please give all my blessings. Uh, if you get a chance, go to Maya Kund and go near to Triveni Ghat. You'll find People Ghat is the next Ghat up from Triveni Ghat. And there you'll find Deva Lokasram. And please knock on the door and say, Swamiji says Namaste. Well, Ravan, remember, was a, a, an incarnation of Jaya and Vijaya, Ravan and Kumbhakarn. So that they were devotees of Ram. They were devotees of Vishnu that were cursed to come to the earth. Remember, the story was they chose to take three births as demons as opposed to seven births as, as rishis. Because they thought three births, well, we can get it over faster. Then we get to come back to Boykunta and live with, with Vishnu. Well, in their first birth, they became uh, Hiranyakshin Hiranyakashipu. In their second birth, they became uh, 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 Madhu and Koitaba was the first birth. Hiranyakshin Hiranyakashipu was the second birth. And Ravan and Kumbhakarna were the third birth. And now, as Robin, he was a devotee of Ram. Now, the second part of your question, yes, if we always think of Ram, we will become like Hanuman, not like Robin. <laughs> we, will, 
We will become pure devotion and we'll become servants of the Lord and we'll be blessed just as Hanuman was blessed. So, Kumari, Kumari was asking a question, why is Hanuman Puja done on Saturdays? Hmm. Well, Hanuman Puja should be done every day. Uh, of course, in the Devi Mandir, we do the Cosmic Puja, which includes everybody. Uh, but uh, Hanuman's Puja is done on Saturdays because uh, Saturdays and Tuesdays are special days for Hanuman. Uh, so uh, th those two days are special days for Hanuman. Just like Friday is special for Santoshima, Monday is special for Shiva, and uh, everybody's got a day. Well, I'll have my day too. <laughs> Hanuman gets Tuesdays and Saturdays. Om Sang Saraswati Namaha Namaste.